Ah, uh, walking through three feet of snow, what a delightful activity! Wait, did I say delightful? I meant madness inducing. Yeah, good for you, I guess. You got skis! I got nothing! I can't move at all in that stuff! Ah, uh, but I guess I should stop complaining about that, else the entire video is going to be nothing but me complaining about it. Uh, instead I got a few things to talk about. Yesterday, Sarah B posted two news items that really got people talking for some reason. And I'm gonna begin, uh, with, uh, this. I, well, I, I don't understand how people, uh, came to believe from that piece of news that there were not going to be any more games in the fifth generation after Black and White. Because, let's admit it, it's complete Horse shit. They said that their marketing strategy was over as far as black and white went, or something to that effect, but that doesn't exclude other games in the fifth generation. Obviously, there are going to be spin offs at some point, whether it's Mystery Dungeon 3, Ranger 4, or something else entirely. You can bank on there being spin offs. Why? Because more games equal more money! Is it that difficult to understand? It would be like if Nintendo turned down free money. And would any company in the world turn down free money? I don't think so. When you've got a money tree, you got to water it every now and then. you got to take good care of it because those things are rare. And Pokemon in the video game industry is the second biggest money tree next to Mario. So you're really... If you want to keep making money off of it, you got to keep making games off of it. Of course, I don't recommend going uh, the the Guitar Hero road, where, you know... Well, actually, there are new Pokemon games coming out every year or so, but we're talking about a, va a, a wide variety of games here. We're talking about, well, whatever Ranger classifies as, and, well, you know... You, you know what I mean. There's a rather wide variety of uh, Pokemon games, whereas Guitar Hero is the exact same thing over and over and over, and that's why this franchise is now dead. And on that note, I would like to reassure everyone that there is almost definitely going to be a deluxe version, because if they didn't intend on making one, they wouldn't have bothered designing QRAM at all, and especially not giving it three signature moves, two of them it doesn't even have access to yet. I think we're going to have the answer to what the, this all means in the deluxe version, but in the meantime, QRAM pretty much sucks in every department. It's not even Uber at the moment, it's not even close, in fact, and it just looks plain unappealing. Just look at it for a second, and imagine this thing is slapped on the box of Grey, or Chrome, or whatever it ends up being called. I don't wanna, I don't wanna pronounce myself on a name since it was so painfully obvious that it was gonna be, uh, Opal last time, and yet it turned out being Platinum. I say it was sort of obvious it would be Opal because Giratina had a type of Opal in its name, but apparently that the, the Gira seems to have meant something else entirely, something I have no clue what it is. But anyway, back to QRM. I think everyone's money is on an alternate form that's going to look cooler, be stronger, and is going to have access to those two signature moves it doesn't have right now. Oh my god, so slow! Oh, this is just fucking ridiculous. What were they thinking? Programming this into the game. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta calm down. Said I wouldn't complain about it anymore. But jeez, just look how slow it gets sometimes. Gosh. But, uh, as I was saying, QRAM has two signature moves that it doesn't have access to right now, but unfortunately they're Sky Attack clones. And we all know how worthless Sky Attack is. But hopefully we're all aware of it, because I don't really want to start explaining it. But, um, yeah, I was thinking maybe if it has an alternate form, maybe it could have a brand new ability that, you know, bypasses the charge up turn on uh, moves like Sky Attack and, you know, other moves like, you know, maybe even Hyper Beam, even though the mechanics aren't the same. 
fact, I think there was an IQ skill in Mystery Dungeon 2 that did exactly that, so I think it would be cool to see that uh, in the main games as an ability, and I I'm a bit surprised that they didn't think of that, actually, because we got some pretty intricate and elaborate uh, abilities in Generation 5. Obviously, Illusion is the obvious one, but you got others, and so, yeah, that's not something that would really be out of place, though it would be a really good ability, so naturally I don't think it would be a good idea to give it to a Pokémon that's already very good, unless we, we, we really want to end up with another iteration of a Shadow Attack Chandelure. But now I've gotten way off track, though, though the thing that I wanted to, to explain was that it would be foolish to think that there aren't going to be any more games in Generation 5. The Black and White are going to be completely alone, no spin-offs, no deluxe version. That, all those are going to happen at some point, just watch. It's just that right now, they haven't begun work on the deluxe version yet, at the very least. Because if you ask them the same question four years ago, where we were at the same point in the generational cycle, they would have said, yeah, there, we don't have anything really planned yet, but look what happened, we got tons of spin-off, platinum, even hard gold and soul silver. Okay, well, I was, I was sort of wondering when I would find the HM, and I thought maybe it would, uh, it, that, that item would be it right outside of the house, because the hiker in the house said that he lost uh, the rock climb HM, but, uh, Hey, he wouldn't have needed to look pretty far, but hey, finders keepers, so now, whoa! We, we saw drunken swimmers earlier, but um, now we got drunken skiers. I, I don't know how skiing like that is humanly possible, unless you were going down a, sl uh, going down a slope and with no control whatsoever, but this area seems to be fairly flat, at least, and... That's what it looks like, even though we can't see much of the topography of this place. But anyway, I'm just rambling on. Uh, at the very beginning of the video, I said there was there were two news items that Sarah B posted about yesterday. The second one is that Movie 14 with Victini is, in fact, going to be a pair of twin movies. You know, like uh, many of the... Pokemon games have been so far. We got Red and Blue, Gold and Silver, Ruby, Sapphire, Diamond, Pearl, Black and White, and we even got Time and Darkness with Mystery Dungeon 2. And, um, yeah, I don't care one bit for the anime. I, I still think it's tripe, but I'm, I find it sort of weird that they do that with movies. And I honestly don't know what it means. There are a few possibilities. Maybe it's going to be two shorter movies airing back to back, though I really wouldn't bank on that. And another possibility is that uh, they... Oh, I'm going to get something? Ah, uh, spell tag. No, it doesn't really matter. Powers up uh, ghost-type moves by 20%. I have no plan on using this. But yet, yeah, it could also be two full-size movies with very similar plots, kind of like what they do in the game end. I'm just going to interrupt here, because what you're seeing at the top of the screen is a, an ice rock. So that means if you level up an EV in this area, in fact, it's the entirety of Route 217. Uh, if you evolve, if, if you level up EV in this area, it's going to evolve into Glaceon. And this is one of the two places in this game where EV cannot evolve into either Espeon or Umbreon. The other being Eterna Forest, where the Moss Rock is, because the, imagine for a moment that you hit um, the not max happiness, but 220, I think, is required to evolve at the same time as you level up in the, those areas. Then the game would have to choose between two potential evolutions at the same time. So uh, that's the, the cop-out that they used. You can't evolve into Espeon or Umbreon in these places. You can only evolve into Leafeon or Glaceon. So that's basically how it works. But as I was about to say, about the movie, could be two full-size movies with very similar plots like sort of in the games. 
and you choose which one you want to see, depending on whether you prefer Reshiram or Zekrom, I guess. But either way, uh, whichever way it goes, I'm really curious to see how it's going to turn out, even though, as I said, I usually don't care about that kind of stuff, because, you know, they've been doing it for so long with the games that, uh, well, it, sh it should come as no surprise that they would do it with the movies eventually, but here's one thing that's bugging me. Uh, Keldeo is supposed to be unveiled uh, soon, according to what Sarah B said about Koro Koro, but uh, we're, Victini already co-stars in both movies, that's a guarantee. We're gonna have Reshiram, Reshiram in one, Zekrom in the other, and then if Keldeo uh, co-stars in both movies as well, because, well, usually when uh, an event Pokemon is unveiled, it co-stars in the movie the same year, so, yeah, it would have made sense if uh, Victini co-starred in one movie and Keldeo in the other, but as it, as it stands, it looks like we're going to have both of them in both movies, and then we're going to have Reshiram in one, Zekrom in the other, and we can't forget that Keldeo is uh, connected to the legendary trio of Unova. I'm talking about Cobalion, Terrakion, and Virizion. So we could see those three as well in both movies. So that means, damn, that would be a freaking lot of legendaries just for one movie. But then again, this is just basic speculation. We still don't know what the deal is with those twin movies, so I'll just leave it at that and see what, what, what the deal is when more news are going to come out about it. Also, fun fact I wanted to point out ever since I got Lucario on my team, you know how it has two abilities regarding flinching? One makes you immune to flinch, and the other gives you a speed boost when you flinch. Well, in Mystery Dungeon, when a Pokémon can have two abilities, it will have them both at the same time. So you see where I'm going with this? One ability prevents flinching, and the other gives you a speed boost when flinching. However, they find they found a nice little cop out in Mystery Dungeon 2 when they when they when they when they actually came to that and we're actually getting pretty close to Lake Acuity here. I think just past this patch of grass. But yeah. I don't know if it's because I don't know if they did it because of Lucario specifically, but what they did was that inner focus gives you immunity to flinching, but steadfast boosts your speed when flinching or cross-eyed. So that means steadfast can still kick in despite inner focus being the other ability because steadfast both uh, works on two statuses instead of one. Well, I don't know if cross-eyed could really count as a status effect, but for the sake of simplicity, let's assume that it is. And by the way, today is the last day where you can pick up your um, your shiny Raikou off of Wi-Fi because starting tomorrow it's the shiny Entei event that's going to begin. So um, just write it down on a piece of paper in case uh, you forget because I might forget to tell you about it uh, in the next weeks. Uh, but yeah, if you want your shiny Raikou, do it right now. And starting tomorrow, Shiny Ante event, and the week after that is going to be the Shiny Suicune. And wow, I'm a moron. I, ju I, I just realized just now that many people may not know what today means, because not everyone watches my videos on the day it comes out. So today means uh, Sunday, February 13th, 2011. So that's what today means. So. Make sure to hurry if you want to get your shiny Raikou, because we, we all know how much of a bitch Raikou is to catch in the first place. Now imagine getting a shiny one, and now you get one little, literally given to you with four moves that it doesn't get in any other way. So, if there, if you know, you don't need any convincing to go pick it up, just do it, you won't regret it. Especially since it gives access to Zoro in black and white and all. And you know what? I feel like continuing, so just because I'm feeling like it.
Today is going to be a double program, so I'm just going to save this video since we're coming close to the time limit, and I'll be right back with more. <laughs> 